everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Bryce with Suare Sound. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please like or subscribe to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be coming at you with a product review. And today, of course, we were talking about the Salsa Photo Booth. Um, as some of you may have known, I used to have a photo booth. It was the Magic Mirror uh, touchscreen photo booth. Um, and I recently purchased the Salsa Photo Booth to add on to my DJ services. Today I'm gonna to talk about why I purchased the Salsa Booth, kind of what I looked at as far as pricing and kind of the pros and cons of why I purchased the Salsa Booth. And now let's get to the unboxing. So first what you see is normally in this case here from everything that I've read online, everything that I've seen, these Photo Booth Supply Company cases are pretty standard. They've got a handle um, and also wheels. These are pretty heavy duty. Um, when you try to pick these things up, I'd say they weigh over uh, 60 pounds. So they're pretty heavy duty. Um, they're built to um, be rugged and be thrown around a little bit, you know, with um, equipment like typically is in a travel case. So four latches there. And it's also got a QR code if you need to know how to set it up if you've never set one up before and you receive it without um, the information. Everything's online. Um, QR code, photo booth supply company, and also the Salsa app is very helpful uh, as far as setting everything up and instructing you on how to do everything. So first when you open the box, I don't know if you can see it or not, <clears throat> when you open the case, uh, the first thing you will pull out is your face plate, or the, where the iPad will sit in. And this is the LED ring and along with your USB-C plug. It's got a nice built-in fan, I'll show you that when it's operating. Um, pretty loud, the fan is. So hopefully you're not operating in a quiet environment, hopefully you know there's some background music. Next thing would be the plate that screws in the iPad. To secure the iPad, um, screws in the four little screws there, and the screws are also in the case. Sorry, this room probably looks like kind of a mess. I've got my backdrops right here um, laid out. I'm just gonna show those here in a second. Next thing is kind of heavy and that's what kind of makes up most of the heavy uh, heaviness of the, the, the case. That's the base plate. The base plate is heavy just so that things don't get knocked over and everything. Another divider. And then the next thing you'll pull out will be your two stands, um, it's kind of the filler uh, totems. Just like that, and there you have pretty much everything. Um, you will see that there are slots for the cords, the power cords. Now, as you might notice, whenever I'm setting up the bottom totems, I unscrew the screws about half a turn, just so that whenever I'm screwing in the top, they tighten all together. So starting with some of the pros of the Salsa Photo Booth. So I run the Salsa Photo Booth on the 2020 edition of the iPad Pro. So I think that's the fourth edition of the iPad Pro. So it's very uh, new technology. The, the, the camera is with the iPad Pro. So it's, it's higher resolution than an older iPad. There are options to modify um, the, the faceplate. If you want a smaller iPad, you can um, buy an option from Photo Booth Supply Company to get a smaller faceplate for a smaller iPad. I decided to go with the big, the newest iPad. Um, another reason that I purchased and a pro of the Salsa Photo Booth is its accessibility and easeability of use. Um, I don't even know if easeability is a word, but <laughs> uh, it is super easy to put together. I will show you here. A, a quick uh, time lapse of me putting it together and it probably took less than 10 minutes to put together and all in you know the app the salsa photo booth app on the ipad is very easy to use it's a lot easier than any other photo booth starstruck photo booth darkroom any other photo booth software that i've tried to use before with the magic mirror this is the easiest option that i've seen out there and for a dj that is going to be djing most of the time during the reception this is does not need to be have an attendant. I'm not gonna include a printer, so that's a pro to me that I don't have to you know, buy printer paper, 
ink or make sure that you know the, the food is printing. Another pro is once you take a picture, you have the option to send the picture, gift, boomerang, video, whatever it may be, directly to your phone or email. This has the cellular data uh, plan included on it. I paid for that, but also you can do it through Wi-Fi. So for me, that was a must have. Everyone wants the accessibility to take the picture and directly upload it to social media. With this, we also have the option to customize the picture, the GIF, the boomerang, the video, to include a couple's name at the bottom. Customize, personalize, customize it. To include their name, their wedding date, um, any image or you know background or sort of like template uh, layout. So that is a huge sell. Um, one thing that I really like about this is I took it to my last bridal show and it was a hit. Everyone that came by was interested in booking it for their wedding, you know, on top of the ones that wanted to book for their DJ services. Some of the cons I would say are the monthly fee for Photobooth, the Salsa Photobooth app, and I believe it's around 40, 50 bucks a month, but if you're taking this to at least one event, um, Per month, you know, it's paying for itself. Around here, this this photo booth should rent for four to five months. Another con that I listed kind of as a pro is it doesn't have a printer hooked up. The only way to print with this photo booth would be through air print, and that is from linking your iPad to your a nearby printer through air print similar to like a Bluetooth, um, you know, air dropping. That's pretty much all I can think of as far as negatives or cons go in respect to the salsa for So to take a further look at the app, so this is when the booth is in run mode. To exit out of run mode, you will double tap in the left-hand corner, type in your passcode, go to dashboard or quick gallery, and there you are in the event. I created this event earlier today. I titled it Review. Um, you can title anything you want. And then even further in each event that you create, you can customize just about everything. Your mode, um, whether you want photo, GIF, boomerang, video, how you want to share, create a gallery um, for all the guests to see or a sharing station, which would be a separate uh, iPad link to this iPad and all the guests can see on that iPad if they wanted to. Filters, overlays, so kind of what I was saying, if they want um, an overlay to include their name, their wedding date, or any other significant date, if this is for a birthday party, a corporate event. You can change the camera settings here, so as you can see, this has the selfie light, um, options to share, email or text, Here's like the airdrop. If you want, um, you can turn the airdrop on so that it's directly airdropped. If you don't have service, everyone can still use their Bluetooth. Guest interface, so different backgrounds. These are just, some of these are, most of these are template backgrounds and there are plenty to choose from. LED branding, if you have a, a company that has certain colors, you can change the LED lights that um, you saw in the beginning to include their company colors or maybe a sports team color. Some more um, live gallery information for sharing with guests, the whole album. Green screen, if you have a green screen. If you wanna send a survey, disclaimer, some, some less fun uh, things. Air print options and post tips. So that's pretty much all you will need as far as viewing the the in event options and these are just some examples some samples also included with my purchase i bought this from an individual so it was a bit cheaper more economical he did not use it very much but he was a retiring wedding DJ. I got four different backdrops and these are sequence backdrops. They're also reversible. Um, so 
these are actually very popular. They're big, big backdrops. Um, not sure on the exact dimensions, but those will be used if the couple doesn't have a photo area with you know their typical like last name. Uh, also included were some props. Uh, I think these are pretty necessary if you're going to have a photo booth of like such, some masks and hats and signs. And then I also have dry erase boards for them to write a message or um, write something funny, glasses. All the props you can think of in there. So yeah, that is my review of the Salsa photo booth. I've already booked the Salsa photo booth for five of my events this year. I plan to do many more as an add-on. If you have any other questions about maybe my pricing or any other um, questions about my gear or the Salsa photo booth in particular, please post them below in the comments and I'll be sure to address them. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.